Hello everyone, join us today for another story. When our children were really young and we were on holiday, um, the final day, day we were at the hotel packing all our stuff. Everything was ready and we were packed and ready to go. But little did we know, we forgot something really, really special. It was my son's favorite toy, the little mouse. That was the little mouse, biggest adventure ever. Today I'm going to read you a story about someone else being left behind and having the biggest adventure of their life. Small by Clara Buliami. When Tom goes to Grandma's house to stay, he remembers to pack everything except his favorite toy, Small. Tom is going to stay the night at Granny's for the very first time. He finds his little suitcase under the bed. Tom has a lot of important packing to do. I will need my pens and my torch and my red slippers and my blanket and my best book of dinosaurs. And of course, I need more. When Tom arrives at Granny's, everything is just right. He has his own toy cupboard and all his favorite things for tea. He eats chocolate in a bath and even bounces on Granny's bed. There's extra stories at bedtime and lots of goodnight kisses. Tom snuggles down. But suddenly, Tom remembers Small. Small? He whispers, Smo isn't he there. He is not under the pillow or under the bed. He is not under the suitcase. Smo must have been left at home. Tom calls up. He closes his eyes tight and he tries to get to sleep. He thinks about Smo back at home in his bedroom, sad and lonely in the dark. Small can't sleep either. Where is Tom? He whispers. He climbs up the curtain. He squeezes through a tiny gap in the window. He is down in the street, running. Small runs, and he runs. He's climbing and tumbling, and the rain pours down and the hallowing wind pushes him back. He leaps over puddles. He trips and falls. Poor Small. He is cold and tired and scared, but he doesn't stop. He keeps running and running out of the city and on and on through the dark, dark woods and just when he can't bear no more small arrives at granny's house upstairs tom opens his eyes he creeps out of bed he peeps around the door it's all dark and strange tom feels scared but he has to find small Ever so quietly, he tiptoes down the stairs. He sees a light from the kitchen and he can hear Granny humming a song. Tom, is that you? She says. Step by step, he inches nearer the front door. And there, underneath the letterbox, is small. Tom scoops him up and hugs him tight. You found me, he says into his chilly velvet ear. He's so small he could have been there all along. 
says Granny, and she takes him back to bed. But Tom doesn't say anything. Tom knows. Now they both know that everything is all right. And as they snuggle back down in bed, Tom whispers to Small, I will keep you safe forever. I hope that you enjoyed the story and the adventure of the little brave mouse. Have you ever lost anything or anybody? It could have been a toy or it could have been you lost mommy and daddy when you were in a shop and you couldn't see them. How did you feel? Did you feel sad and upset, worried? How did you feel when you finally found whatever you were looking for? What was the feeling inside you? How did you look on the outside? I could just imagine your face was as happy as the face of my son when he was finally reunited with his little friend. And the same as our friend Tom, who was finally reunited with his little friend, Small. What a fantastic story. Join me again for another story. Goodbye.